Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Attack helicopters are designed to suppress and destroy moving and stationary enemy ground targets, including armored vehicles. For this task, weaponry aside, you need speed. And today, we will show you the 10 fastest attack helicopters in the world. T-129 the T-129 is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter based on the Augusta A-129 Mangusta platform. The T-129 was developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries with partner Augusta Westland. The T-129 incorporates asymmetric weapon loading and enables the use of all weapons effectively according to mission requirements. For multi-purpose missions, 16 70mm laser-guided air-to-ground missiles, 8 long-range anti-tank missiles, and 8 air-to-air -air missiles are employed. The T-129 is powered by two turboshaft engines. Each engine can reach a power output of 1,378 horsepower. The T-129 has a maximum speed of 172 miles per hour, 278 kilometers an hour. Harbin Z-19E the Z-19E is a Chinese attack helicopter. It was developed locally by Harvin. It is designed to defeat armored vehicles, suppress enemy firing points, support ground forces on the battlefield, and also to intercept low-speed and low-flying targets. The Z-19E is based on the Chinese Harbin Z-19 helicopter. It has four underwing hardpoints and can carry anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, as well as unguided missiles. The helicopter has no nose cannon mount, however, it can carry a potted 23mm cannon. The helicopter is equipped with two turboshaft engines with a maximum continuous power of 789 horsepower and takeoff power of 951 horsepower. The Z19E has a maximum speed of 174 miles per hour, 280 kilometers an hour. Danel AH2 Royvelk the Royvilk is an attack helicopter manufactured by Danel Aviation of South Africa. The South African Air Force ordered 12 Royvilk AH-2, the first of which entered service in July 1999. The Royvilk carries a comprehensive range of weaponry selected for its corresponding mission requirements, ranging from anti-armor and anti-helicopter missions to ground suppression and ferry missions. The helicopter can engage multiple targets at short and long range, utilizing the nose-mounted cannon and a range of underwing-mounted munitions. Royville can carry four air-to-air -air missiles such as the Danel Aerospace Systems V3C Darter or MBDA Mistral. The AH-2 Royville is powered by two Topaz gas turbine engines manufactured by Turbomeca. The takeoff power of each engine is 2,365 horsepower. The maximum speed of the helicopter is 192 miles per hour, 309 kilometers an hour. Eurocopter Tiger The Tiger is a four-bladed, twin-engined attack helicopter, which first entered service in 2003. It is manufactured by Eurocopter, now Airbus Helicopters, the successor company to Aerospatials and DASA's respective helicopter divisions, which designated as the EC-665. The Tiger can be fitted with various armaments, including rockets, cannons, and a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, controlled via a dedicated weapons control computer. Munitions for anti-ground warfare include the nose-mounted 30mm Nexter turret, an assortment of external gun pods, anti-tank missiles, and up to four launchers for 70mm and 68mm rockets can be mounted on the Tiger's stub wings. The Tiger is powered by two Turbo Mecha or Rolls-Royce turboshaft engines rated at 1,285 horsepower. The maximum speed of the helicopter is 195 miles per hour, 315 kilometers an hour. MI-28NM The MI-28NM is a modernized version of the MI-28N Night Hunter combat helicopter. The MI-28NM received principally new mass-mounted radar to allow for the helicopter's panoramic view a new control system, and other equipment. The helicopter can use high-precision weapons. The armaments of the helicopter includes guided and unguided missiles, bombs, as well as a 30mm aircraft gun. During its modernization, the MI-28NM helicopter received two new VK-2500P engines with improved characteristics, which are produced by Russian enterprises. 
The power of each engine in takeoff mode is 2,500 horsepower. The MI-28NM has a maximum speed of 201 miles per hour, 324 kilometers an hour. MI-35P At the Military Technical Forum, Army 2018, options for further modernization of combat helicopters of the MI-35 family were presented. Along with the MI-35M and the updated MI-35P was also presented for the first time. The helicopter can be armed with the Attica VM anti-tank missile system with a range of 3 miles, or the Vicar-1 anti-tank missile system with a laser guidance system and a range of up to 4 miles. The MI-35P can also carry a set of control equipment and launch modules, Strelitz, with guided missiles, IGLA. The helicopter is powered with two gas turbine engines, allowing for 2,225 horsepower each. The MI-28NM has a maximum speed of 208 miles per hour, 335 kilometers an hour. KA-52 Alligator The Kamov KA-52 Alligator is a two-seat version of the KA-50. It is a multi-role all-weather attack helicopter capable of operating in daytime and at night. The KA-52 retained all combat capabilities of its predecessor. It is armed with a side-mounted 30mm cannon. There are six external hardpoints for different combinations of weapons, including anti-tank missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, pods with unguided rockets, and bombs. For anti-armor missions, it is armed with up to 12 Vicar ATGMs. The Kamov KA-52 is fitted with upgraded TV-3-117 VMA turboshaft engines. The Alligator has unique maneuverability, which is derived from its two coaxial contra-rotating main rotors. It is among the most maneuverable helicopters in the world. The maximum speed of the helicopter is 217 miles per hour, 350 kilometers an hour. AH-1W Super Cobra The AH-1W Super Cobra is the U.S. Marine's attack helicopter. It is supplied by Bell Helicopter Textron and entered service in 1985. In addition to the U.S. Marine Corps, the Super Cobra is in use with the Turkish Land Forces and the Taiwanese Armed Forces. The Super Cobra can carry both tow and Hellfire anti-armor missiles and is qualified to carry the Maverick missile. The Super Cobra can fire the Hydra family of unguided 70mm rockets or the larger 127mm Zuni rocket bombs. The helicopter carries a three-barrel 20mm Gatling gun for close range up to 2 kilometers engagement, and 750 rounds of ammunition. The Super Cobra is powered by two General Electric turboshaft engines, developing 1,725 horsepower each. The helicopter has a maximum speed of 218 miles per hour, 352 kilometers an hour. AH-64D Apache Longbow the Apache is a twin-engined Army attack helicopter developed by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing. It entered service with the U.S. Army in 1984 and has been exported to Egypt, Greece, Israel, the Netherlands, Japan, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and the UK. The AH-64D features improvements in targeting, battle management, cockpit, communications, weapons, and navigation systems. The Longbow Apache carries a combination of armaments chosen accordingly to mission requirements. In its close support role, the helicopter carries 16 Hellfire missiles on four four-rail launchers and four air-to-air -air missiles. The Apache is equipped with two turboshaft engines, each providing 1,719 horsepower. The maximum speed of the AH-64D is 226 miles per hour, 365 kilometers an hour. AH-1Z Viper the Bell AH-1Z Viper is a modern version of the AH-1 Cobra, the first ever attack helicopter. The AH-1Z features a four-blade, bearingless, composite main rotor system, updated transmission, and a new target sighting system. The Viper allows for a variety of armaments. The AH-1Z carries about two tons of various weapons on stub wings. Typically, it carries Hellfire anti-tank missiles, up to 16, and pods with 70mm unguided rockets. The Viper can also be fitted with anti-ship missiles and freefall bombs, including Mark 77 incendiary bombs. The AH-1Z has essential changes in propulsion. It is powered by two General Electric turboshaft engines and has upgraded transmission. 
One of the main external differences from the AH-1W is a composite four-bladed main rotor instead of the previous two-bladed rotor. It reduces vibrations by up to 70%. The maximum speed of the helicopter is 255 miles per hour, 411 kilometers an hour. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the helicopters you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.